medical process <laughs> for both autism and, and ADHD. ADHD. Do you feel really nervous about this event? Started a new training split with my coach as well. This video is sponsored by Squarespace. Just finished a psychologist appointment. Uh, yes, I've put my bathrobe on again. If you saw my last video, this is the same afternoon that I finished my last video. But I just want to be cozy because it's kind of cold today. Like I, like I haven't spoken about this at all on my channel. Like no. nothing to do with it. But anyway, I've been going through the assessment protest process, process. <laughs> for both autism and, and ADHD. ADHD. We knew there was little signs and symptoms of the autism. Yeah. Like we, yeah. We've been knowing. We've right? been knowing. <laughs> like if you read the book I wrote years ago, it would make basically sense. basically a how-to guide for how to run your life like an autistic person. <laughs> Honest to God. Like, I love that though. <laughs> literally. Like was I just teaching people autistic traits? Like, Probably. Yes. I love that. Um, anyway, um, there was a, how do I explain the, the ADHD thing? So I met this dude in the gym and like the second time I met him, he was like, you have ADHD. And I was like, no, like, no, I don't. See, I didn't pick the ADHD in you. I sort of picked the autism, but not the ADHD <laughs> because no one picked the ADHD. I'm more ADHD than you. you. Are, yes. Like I, I actually want to have my own assessment because I've got the OCD. I yeah. could be tied in with the yeah. And so I got, the, I got the results back from like all the tests. Oh, you did? Now, yes. Oh my God. So one of the things came back that I tested 100% on the scale for motor hyperactivity ADHD. This is another thing my psychologist was saying is that like my routines and rituals and like how I function being on the autism spectrum yeah. like makes up for the gaps in that the, ADHD okay, that makes would sense. leave. Do you know what I mean? Like. I have the routines involved in cleaning and I have the routines involved yeah. in task management and the way that I schedule my time and like all of that. So yeah. like that is compensating. Um, but yeah, the, the motor, I, the motor hyperactivity ADHD, it's like, that's why I always need to move so much. The yeah. walking pad under the desk works yeah. so well for me. Like yeah. I need breaks to go for walks, to move like yeah. constantly. Like I can't just sit and do a day's work yeah. in one go. Like I, I can't do it. And then I got back the camouflaging and masking one. It's a it's out of 175 points. Okay. And the higher that you rank on that means the more often you're like masking and camouflaging to like Okay, now I'm like so interested to know what this is. <laughs> I got 161 out of 175. Oh my God. And so she's like, okay, so basically like 95% of the time you are masking, which is why you're so tired. All the time. Because I'm it's tired all the time. Everything of, in you. Yes. Oh my yes. God. <laughs> and then she was like, oh, you need to learn to like unmask a little bit. And I'm like, I don't even know who that is. Like, oh. who is that as a person? Because I've spent my whole life, life. trying to appear like Mama. I know I'm not like guys I have a collection of Tamagotchis like but come on come on we've solved my fatigue issue you guys for years I've been coming on here I'm like I'm so tired I'm so tired it's a touch of autism <laughs> oh, but to have both come oh, on I know that's crazy but it's just it's like must be a relief to actually know for sure yes because I, I mean, I had suspected the, that the autism, autism spectrum thing, but then as well, if you think about it, like there are so many lifestyle modifications you can make that do help with ADHD. Yeah. And a, a lot of my clients have it. And there's a lot of adjustments that we make where people have been able to just fully come off their medication because there's things you can do with your nutrient timing, okay. with your protein timing, with your protein consumption in general, with your training, wow. like there are things you can do to actually reduce cool. your symptoms and to function like much <laughs> better. And even my psychologist was saying, she's like, you're so high functioning and you've yeah. achieved so much that like, I didn't think to follow this. Yeah, like, do you yeah. know what I mean? That makes so much sense though. I'm so excited that you finally have like a diagnosis. So, how exciting. A double diagnosis. We love that. We love that at 32 <sighs> to find out why I've been tired for the last 10 years. Makes it's because of this. Makes so much sense. We're going to go to Bunnings. We're going to pick up some paint. I'm so excited. I've decided on the color. I've decided I'm going to do mm. Indian red. I did like the third color. What was that? Spiced mushroom? I think so. Yeah, yeah. I, I did like spiced mushroom, but then the more that I looked at and it dried really nice. So if you like a purple tone, yeah. it would be beautiful. But the more that I was looking at it, I was like, I just really don't like purple that much. No. I'm way more drawn to the red based color. Um, so that's the one yeah. that I'm going to get. And it's funny. I still feel a bit funky after that, like diagnosis news. I know. Yes. 
Okay. And I don't know, like, like part of my brain is like, you need to take time to process this. And like, this is an issue, an ongoing issue for me. And honestly, I think it's the autism thing. And I always make this joke when I'm in relationships, this is a really big issue where I'm like, I need two to three business days to process process. how I feel about this. You're like, I have to think about this. I need to think and I need to work my way through it because I only think in logic. So I don't think in emotion. Yeah. So you like, I, you have to try to connect a, an emotion to a logical yeah. feeling, yeah. which I get that. Idea. And for me, an emotion is like somatic. That's how I've learned mm. to identify them is like, where do I feel it in my body? Yeah. That's a good one. Because I don't like, there's no other way that I recognize it really. Yeah. Like where does it, where do you feel it? Yes. Is a good one. Yeah. Um, so that's what we are on our way to do. And I think we need, oh, we need to get that cabinet off the wall. That's going to be, oh, that is, I think I have something in my eye. Now, I just want to take it a second to thank today's video sponsor, Squarespace. Squarespace is an all-in-one website platform for entrepreneurs to stand out and succeed online. Whether you're just starting out or you're managing a growing brand, Squarespace makes it easy to create beautiful websites, engage with your audience, and sell anything. They have Fluid Engine, which is a next-generation website design system to unlock your creativity. You can start with these incredible website templates and customize every single detail. You can use their built-in analytics and insights to grow your business, set up an online store to sell your products, whether they're physical, digital, or service, and accept appointments on your Squarespace website. But don't just take my word for it. Jump in, start a free trial, see how it feels for you, and when you're ready to hit publish, you can use the URL, which I had on the screen or I have down in the description box, for a discount off your first purchase. still the same day that I went to Bunnings, but it's much, much, much later. Um, it's my day off today, it's Friday, and I went to the gym. I wonder if this is big enough. I went and got a massage, just because like, I know for tomorrow, I just wanna make sure that I look good. And I know I've been in a deficit for like 13 weeks now, but like, I don't know, like, I know this sounds bad to say, but I'm like not where I want to be yet. And massages always just help me get rid of like some water retention and things like that. So when got a massage, plus it was super, super relaxing as well. Now I'm going to prep some protein oats to take with me tomorrow because the team that we're going with, so Mira and I were chatting today and I know they're supplying us with lunch as well, but I was like, oh, I just don't know what options are at the convention center. And like, I don't know. I just feel like having kind of a normal meal. Do you know what I mean? So I'm thinking I'll have my chicken and rice for breakfast in the morning. And then I'm gonna take my two high carb days over the weekend. And then I'm gonna make a double portion of protein oats. Hopefully it fits in this container. I guess we'll see. And if not, I'll put it in a bigger container. And then I'm gonna put strawberry jam on top of these. Cause I just wanted an option that's got lots of carbs. Lots of protein, it was like easy to pack, so I can just pack it with like a cooler block in my bag, you know, other than trying to pack like chicken or something like that. Normally at the moment, I've only been doing 30 grams of oats, but I think I might do 80. I'm going to do two scoops of whey. I'm using the ISO 100 whey. It's hydrolyzed, so I find it easier to digest, but another good one is R1 by Rule One. Oh God, I don't think this is gonna fit in the container. I need to add a whole tub of Chobani fit in here as well. Uh, I don't think it's gonna work. I don't even know if I have a bigger container. Okay, I guess we're seeing what can fit. I'm gonna add some cinnamon. I should feel really nervous about this event. And Mira and I were messaging earlier today and she's like, I'm nervous too. <laughs> so I don't know, I don't go to things like this. Uh, it's weird to be going to like a fitness thing. Do you know what I mean? I'm not a bodybuilder. I'm not a fitness model. Like Mira is a fitness model natural nails. I didn't bother to get them done because I don't know, I hate sitting there for so long. Maybe that's the ADHD in me. Anyway, I hate sitting there. I get bored. I get fidgety. I just don't enjoy it. So I stopped getting them done ages ago. I actually stopped getting them done when I was like saving extra money to buy this place. So I think I'll paint them tonight, but I actually need to wash my hair because it's been through training. It's not good. So I'm going to wash my hair. I'm going to scrub. I'm actually going to fake tan tonight as well. I went and picked up a, a tan the other day. I just got a Bali body tan that was recommended to me. So we'll see. Hopefully it looks okay. Oh God. Imagine it just turns out like a horrendous color on my skin tone. Anyway, so I'm going going to do that and yeah so wash my hair dry my hair fake tan and then I'll do my nails it's currently hey google what time is it 6 47 p.m I've got time 
and then I'm gonna meet Mira at the gym tomorrow morning because she wants me to help her with her makeup because she doesn't really do uh, much makeup or anything like that. And the protein oats fit in this container. I'm vlogging. Yeah. I'm so lucky to have you to help me. <laughs> oh. Time to get pretty. You already are pretty. Look, I'm over prepared. You're the best. <laughs> you are. So I'm completely. So do you know I give me all the time and I'm still not organizing. <laughs> Mira, you have two hours. Okay, it's <laughs> I never went later, I forget everything. Oh, so if they like... have the unitard thing, I'll wear that because oh, I feel like they always suit me. Like yeah. they just like suit your body and yeah. then you feel comfortable. Exactly. And that's I don't want to like, show myself in the that... photos of the people exactly. the way I don't like to see. And they might feel heavy if you're not used to wearing glasses. Mm. It's like I put a makeup on. Yeah. <laughs> Up here. Rachel, you are the best. Oh, now you're doing some exercise a little bit. Yeah, I reckon I'm gonna do a do bit some of arms and shoulders. to the convention center. I'm actually nervous because like what are they gonna put us in? I don't know. running around trying to get all the last few things to like get on the plane because Rachel's oh, leaving I'm leaving and I can't believe it happening actually I need to get changed because I'm gonna have to help you take these bags now right like yeah you yes 20, please uh, yeah a million bags is what I have this is gonna be for my camera where's my glasses I need socks run and Rachel got me these pretty flowers oh yeah I got some flowers so nice they're really, really pretty. I can't believe you're going after being here for like two months. I know, it's crazy. It's gonna feel so weird. I know. It doesn't even, it still doesn't feel real. Like for a moment when I had to say goodbye to like all of my family, that felt real. But then once I was on the train and I was like, it's not back, real. back to normal, <laughs> real, back to normal. <laughs> I don't really need my pencil case. Oh wait, no, you do. Of course, you always need a pen. What am I on about? Yeah, you'll have to fill in the forms. Yeah. Uh, whatever there is. Um, I'm gonna put this in my other suitcase. This one's gonna have my camera and stuff in it, which... And this is actually my first time picking up the camera in, oh my Wait. goodness, about two weeks after the fitness expo. Yeah. The whole week after the fitness expo, I was absolutely wrecked. It was so much social time and like group dinners with the brand and everything, which was awesome. And they have asked Mira, Katie and I to go to the Sydney fitness expo as well, which would be cool. Um, but yeah, so like had the expo, I've been wiped, started a new training split with my coach as well. And it is so, 
so difficult. I'll have to tell you guys about it at some point when we're not like creating chaos in the lounge yeah. room here. I've just been so exhausted. And so I've been trying to like manage my energy and just put it into like clients and the things that I need to do, like the necessities and not do like the extra stuff. I, I'm sad we didn't get a chance to do the bathroom because I think that would have been cool. I and I, oh, did you tell your brother about the cabinet for me? I did. He said he's good to come. I'll just give you his number and yeah. you can do that. I need to find a nice mirror for that too. That great. Please don't mind me while I'm out and zipping and shoving things in my bag. That's fine. Last minute. I think I'm good. I'm almost done. I have four bags, technically five if you count my little and you've got a whole freaking, what do you call it? Snowboard. Oh, yeah, I have a snowboard. <laughs> I had, I just never snowboarded when I was in Canada. Like I just never got around to it, but now we're going next winter and I'm like, I have to bring it things. <laughs> Anna, you've been cuddling her every day. What are you going to do without her? You're going to be so sad. Oh, Toasty. You're going to be so big when I get back. Bye, Tortillo. Bye, Ducky. Oh, they know, don't they? Yeah, they know what suitcases are. Oh, I'm sorry guys. Bye, Emmons. Check out my passport. Yeah. I gotta check out my house key because if I get locked out now. Yep. No one's really lucky. I'm gonna take this phone back. Yeah. Over, it's fine because I have extra weight in the. been in my house for the last two months. I've had my best friend with me for two months. I'm gonna use this weekend to reset my house, my routine, and just get back into my normal flow of living alone.